Watch this. A simple 3x3 gallery that transforms into a full-screen zoom experience on scroll. And the best part? We're doing this with GSAP Flip. No complex math, no manual calculations for positioning or sizing. I'm going to show you exactly how to build this entire effect in the next five minutes. Let's dive into the code and bring this magic to life. So without wasting any time, let's start with our HTML structure. I've got three main sections here, a header for our title, the gallery container, and a spacer section that we'll use later. Inside the gallery, I'm creating nine divs for our three by three grid. Now notice the fifth div, this one's special because it has a nested image div inside. This is where we'll create our zoom effect later. Yeah, at the bottom, I'm loading the core GSAP library plus three essential plugins, split text for text animations, flip for our gallery transitions, and scroll trigger for scroll-based effects. Flip is the star here. It handles all the complex positioning math automatically. No need to manually calculate transforms or transitions between states. That's really it for our HTML. Clean, semantic, and ready for the magic we're about to add with CSS and GSAP. No complicated markup, just the essential structure we need to build this interactive gallery. Now for the CSS. I'm starting with that dark grid background you see. It creates that tech aesthetic with multiple layered gradients. Next, I'm setting up our gallery grid. Three columns, three rows, with a 1VW gap between each item. Each div is sized at 33 viewport width by 33 viewport height to perfectly fill the space. Here's where it gets interesting. I'm adding background images to each div. Real photos for a more polished look. Now look at div number five. The nested image inside has a transform. Scale two applied, creating a pre-zoomed state. This is our secret weapon for the smooth zoom effect later. Finally, the flip class. When applied, divs transform to 100 viewport width by 100 viewport height, taking over the entire screen. This class is what GSAP will toggle to create our animations. Two minutes in, and our HTML and CSS foundation is complete and ready for the JavaScript magic. Before JavaScript, let's understand how GSAP Flip works. GSAP Flip works by capturing the before state of elements, then you make your changes and Flip automatically animates between the two states. It handles all the complex math, position, size, rotation, and creates buttery smooth transitions between any two layouts. No manual calculations needed. In our example, we capture the grid layout as our before state, then we apply the dot flip class to get our full screen after state. Flip handles everything in between. Once we have both states captured, Flip creates that seamless transition automatically. It's like having an animation assistant that calculates all the positioning and scaling math for you. Now let's move to the JavaScript and I'll walk you through how this works. First, we register all our GSAP plugins. Scroll trigger for scroll-based animations, flip for our transitions, and split text for the text effects. It tells GSAP we'll be using these specific plugins in our animation. Now let me show you the text animation. This isn't part of Flip, but it's another powerful GSAP plugin that's incredibly useful. I'm using split text to break our title into individual characters. Then I animate each character to fly in from below with random rotation and staggered timing. If you want to dive deeper into split text and text animations, I have dedicated videos on my channel that guide you through all the advanced features. At a high level, we're splitting text into pieces and animating them individually, creating that beautiful dynamic entrance effect that makes our UI feel alive from the very first moment. Now let's dive into the flip plugin magic. First, I grab all our gallery divs and temporarily add the flip class to capture what the full screen state looks like. Then I use flip.getState to capture this after state, including all the elements and even the nested image, making sure we track the border radius property too. After capturing that state, I immediately remove the flip class, returning everything to the original grid layout. Now flip has both states, the starting grid and the target full screen layout. With both states captured, we're ready to create that smooth transition between them. Flip now knows exactly how to animate from our 3x3 grid to the full screen experience. Now we animate from our before state to the after state using flip.2. This single function handles the entire transition between the two layouts we captured. The scale true ensures elements scale smoothly during the transition, while simple true optimizes performance by using simpler calculations. The scroll trigger configuration ties our animation to scroll position. 
It triggers when we reach the second section, pins the content during scroll, and uses scrub to create that smooth drag-like effect. Start, center center begins the animation when the section center hits the viewport center. End and makes it last for three viewport heights of scrolling and scrub. True syncs the animation progress with scroll position. When you scroll, each gallery item smoothly transforms from grid to full screen, creating that beautiful zoom effect that feels completely natural and responsive to user interaction. So to recap, we captured two states with flip, our 3x3 grid and the full screen layout. Then we animated between them with smooth scaling and scroll triggered timing. The magic is that flip handled all the complex positioning math automatically. No manual calculations, no complicated transforms, just clean, smooth transitions between any two layouts. If you found this helpful and want to see more GSAP tutorials and advanced animation techniques, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out our other videos on split text animations, scroll trigger setups, and modern CSS techniques that will take your front end skills to the next level. Drop a comment below with what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.